This is 10 to the third power. 10 is the base, and 3 is the exponent. The exponent tells us how many times to multiply 10. Here we are multiplying 10 three times. This is 10 to the sixth power. We can write this as a multiplication sentence. 10 to the sixth power is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. We multiply 10 six times. This is equal to 1 million. Let's look at 20 hundredths times 10. 20 hundredths is like 20 cents. Two dimes are the same as 20 cents. If we multiply two dimes by 10, we will get two dollars or 2.0. The digit shifted to the left one time. Let's look at three hundredths times 10 to the second power. 10 to the second power is the same as 10 times 10, which equals 100. Three hundredths is the same as three pennies. If we have a hundred groups of three pennies, we would have three dollars. Notice that the digit shifted to the left two times. You'll see a pattern when a number is multiplied by a power of 10. Each digit has shifted to the same number of places to the left as a number of tens it was multiplied by. When dividing by powers of 10, we shift the digits to the right instead of the left. Let's look at 20 hundredths divided by 10. This is the same as 20 pennies divided by 10. This is the same as two dimes divided by 10. 20 hundredths divided by 10 is equal to two hundredths or two cents. Notice that the digits move to the right one place when dividing by 10. Let's look at five and 32 hundredths times 100. Based on the pattern we saw before, each digit shifts the same number of places to the left as a number of tens it was multiplied by. A hundred is the same as 10 to the second power, which means it is being multiplied by itself two times. So we can move the digits left two times. This means five and 32 hundredths times 100 is equal to 532. Let's try five and 32 hundredths divided by 100. When dividing by powers of 10, each digit moves one place to the right for each 10 you divide by. A hundred is the same as 10 times 10 or 10 to the second power. So we can shift the digits to the right two times. This means five and 32 hundredths divided by 100 is equal to 532 ten thousandths. This makes sense because our quotient is smaller by two place values. In this video, you learned about dividing and multiplying by powers of 10. Thanks for watching.